What's up guys, Visions by Kalanji here, and I'm back again with another video. I'm going to be talking about doing 24 frames per second slow motion. Now in most cases you wouldn't do this, but this is generally if you forgot to change your settings and camera to actual slow motion, and you feel like a shot would really be great in slow motion. Now all you have to do is open up your editor of choice. I'm using Premiere. You can also do this in Final Cut. And there are just some tutorials out there, but I use Premiere. So I'm going to be demonstrating Premiere. All right, open it up. Just to prove this is 24 frames per second or 23.976. I'm going to go to properties. And then here we go. Frame rate 23.976. And I shot this on the Sony A6300. So it's 4K footage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this into the timeline. All right, scrub through it. Let me see how I find the good part. I definitely thought it would be a good part of me zooming into her. So I'm going to cut it, move this down. Then you want to go to, once you find the spot where you want to slow down, you want to go to speed and duration. Let's say I'm going to drop this down to 20%. I wouldn't recommend going below 20. That's just my opinion. And then you want to change this from frame sampling to optical flow. And you're just about done. Now all you have to do is render it out. And once it's done, then it'll be perfect. Give me one moment. I'll be right back. Okay, so... It's finally finished. I did change some things just so I can just so I can show it to you a little bit better. So this is what it was before. All right. And then here is what it is now after it's been slowed down 20%. really slow I'm not gonna go through the whole thing <laughs> but it, it, you get the idea of it now let's say you want to add some more into the slow motion you will have to re-render it okay guys that's the end of the tutorial this will definitely come in handy if you forgot to switch the settings in your camera into slow motion but I will say um, that if you are going to use this use it sparingly because it can cause a warping jello kind of effect kind of like what the warp stabilizer does but not as bad um but it can definitely come in handy if you if you're in a pinch hope you enjoyed the video definitely leave a like and subscribe and click that little notification bell so you can get all my updates on when i'm posting new videos i will be posting two to three new videos every week from short films to tutorials music videos and other great videos so definitely leave it. So definitely subscribe. More videos coming soon. Have a great day. Peace.